Hi guys, welcome back to AFTV. I'm here with Alex. Uh, congrats on the win. You got your place at Wembley in the final against Chelsea. Um, you can understand we're on AFTV. I'm going to very much ask you about the Arsenal side of things. Um, what did you see from Arsenal today, despite, you know, just generally a poor performance? Anything out there? Martinelli looked good. Is there anything, where did it go wrong for us? I mean, what, what did Liverpool do that just completely stifled our play? Because that was nothing like what we saw against Man City a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, Arsenal needed to come out of the traps tonight. And I think that free kick that went off the bar, well, saved actually onto the bar by Kelleher. Yes, if that goes in, then I think it's a totally different game. Arsenal are really then up for it with that early goal. I think that was maybe three minutes in or something like that. Yeah, early. Um, and looking back on it, because you didn't really do uh, anything in that, in that 10 minutes to really punish us in terms of a goal, we were allowed free reign really. So I think the first 15 minutes was so big for Arsenal. We shut you up a bit after that, got the goal, went in at half time, and then it was just more of the same in the second half really. It was quite quiet in a lot of periods of the game, mm -hmm. but listen, we got the two goals and we're in the final. We're looking at, <laughs> I'm looking at uh, two players in particular in the Liverpool side that for me sum up what Arsenal are missing. Trent and Jota. And the reason I mention them is not just because they linked up brilliantly for that second goal, but they showed that quality, that kind of being able to do something out of nothing. Um, that, and I'm not saying Liverpool did nothing. They, they, were, they were superb and professional in control today. But I looked at Arsenal and I wondered, if it wasn't Martinelli, who's our player that's going to make something happen out of absolutely nothing? Um, how key are those players for you guys? Because you've seen Salah sometimes just do it by himself. And now I'm not asking for a bunch of Salahs at Arsenal. You know, they come once in a generation. But you can see that we lack sometimes that star quality. And that's not having to go at the young players. The young players are terrific. Um, but they've got some way to go. And what Trent and Jota did is show what Arsenal were lacking, I thought. Yeah, to go back to your point, Martinelli was obviously your best player. But playing on that left... <laughs> He's always looking to come in. Obviously, if you're a left-sided player, you should maybe look to have that in your locker as well. Um, he needs to play down the middle. He's the long-term option. And if I was picking, he would be the long-term option for a number nine at Arsenal, would be Martinelli. Wow. Um, in, in answer to your question about Trent and Jota, um, Trent, I mean, I just saw a stat there. I think he's got the second most assists in the top five leagues in Europe since 2018-19, apart from Messi. And he's a defender, he's a right back. He's redefining the role. Um, so you can't really compare Trent to anyone. Um, how do you get a Trent? I don't know. You just you No, but you can look at, strong. I know he's having a poor season, but you look at Rashford coming on in behind, you know, fires at top corner. I, I guess what I'm saying is, even Diogo Jota came from Wolves. Uh, that, that's not me trying to like play down how good a player he is, but I'm just saying they're out there. Yeah, well, Mane came from Southampton. Salah came from, you know, Roma, obviously Chelsea before. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Jota as well, just clinical. I know he's very good at FIFA and I, I don't like to link the two things. However, he plays like a FIFA player in, in the way that he's not the tallest guy, he's not the strongest guy, but trust me, he'll press L2 mm. and get across a player and get a foul. Yeah, yeah. Um, and he's so clever the way he heads yeah. the ball across the defender so they either have to take him out or let him go through. That's what happened with the second goal. Mm -hmm. Gets his foot to it just before Ramsdale. Same down. with the red card last week. And the red card last week. And obviously another red card for Arsenal today. Um, poor night for Arsenal. I expected a lot more at home. Um, yeah, but as a Liverpool fan, listen, I'm, I'm super happy. I mean, I was outside the Emirates yesterday with Cecil. He went for a 3-1 Arsenal win. So no, nothing needs to be said on that. I'm, I'm, I'm sure they'll chat about that after. Um, let me get your honest thoughts from a top four perspective. Don't have to be kind, just because you're on AFTV. I know you'll be honest about it. Up, yeah, um... January window still open. Do you think there's any business Arsenal can do in this window that could make us genuine top four contenders? You'd have to buy Vlaovic, and I'd say at the same time, in the same window, get rid of Aubameyang, slash, not Lacazette. I mean, he's playing decent for you at the minute, but something has to be done there. Uh, you also need a midfielder. I heard Turkish say that realistically, you probably will only get one. Um, I do think you have to do something because if Partey is going to get suspended now, if Jack is always out, big bit of a controversy hanging over his head at the minute with that suspicious yellow card allegedly oh um, yeah won't, won't, won't go into yeah, that because obviously we don't know but that is um, I said the word allegedly yes so a very true myself there uh, politics journalism of course um, um, but yeah you need to do something mate the midfield is looking light um, Odegaard and Lukonga that's where he lost it tonight you had them two in the middle we had three 
people that were gunning for your blood. As soon as you got the ball, we were pressing, pressing, and you just couldn't yeah. handle it. Outnumbered. Yeah. There you go. Well, guys, there we go. Liverpool fans said it. Turkish fans said it. I've said it. Everyone's saying it. We need reinforcements in January. Thanks for joining. Good luck in the final, Thank mate. You, bro.